Hello guys and gals, welcome to a new tutorial. Now this is just going to be a quick one, but it's something that you guys have been requesting quite a lot. And that is a day-night cycle. So you can see here, our lovely sky is changing from day to a starry night. And if we give it enough time, it will go back through today. And you can see that the sun is just going to whiz on past. Now the reason it's whizzing on past is because we've got the speed turned way up high so that we can see this working. You're not going to have it that high in a game. Unless you want super fast days, who knows? Uh, before we get started on the actual tutorial, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's gone over and followed me on Twitch. I did make a video about it, about uh, a new Twitch channel. Um, unfortunately, you know, YouTube were like, don't do that, otherwise we'll delete your account. Um, so that's down, but I'm still allowed to make a little announcement, I just can't make a whole video about it. Um, so if you want to follow me over on Twitch, please, uh, there's going to be a link in the description. More support there and more support here means that I don't have to go to regular work quite so much, so I've got more time to work on this kind of stuff for you guys. Not trying to guilt trip you or anything. <laughs> anyway, with that said, what I'm going to quickly do is delete some stuff. I'm just going to clean up the blueprint and default this. All right. So if you open up a new project or if you've got a project that's already got a sky uh, a sky sphere in it, uh, the default sky sphere, what we can probably guess is that you've got one of these guys, a directional light. It looks like a little sun and it has an arrow. Now this arrow is the light's direction. So if we were to rotate this, you can see that it changes the direction of the shadows because the sun is pointing at a different area. So what we want to do with this is we want to make sure that we can move this around inside of a blueprint. Now the easiest way to do this is to head to the details with it selected and just click movable. And now it's going to be movable by blueprints. So with that done, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the level blueprint, drag this over, and with it still selected, or if you don't have it selected, then just give it a select, right click inside the level blueprint, and we can create a reference to light source right at the top. Now this is directly linked to this little light guy. Everything we do to this is going to affect that light in the level. So we're going to get event tick. And we don't normally use event ticks for things because it calls an, it calls the event every single frame. And if your frame rate slows down, then the amount of events are going to be lowered. So if you're running at 60 frames per second, this is going to push an event 60 times per second. But if your frame rate drops to 15, it's only going to call this 15 times a second. But what we're going to do to try and combat any sort of frame drop anywhere is we're going to multiply our delta time by a variable. So we're going to create a new variable, turn this into a float. We're going to call this speed. And we'll drag this out and we'll get speed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to compile really quick. With our speed selected, we're just going to change the default value to 30, which is what I was using in the intro. Now what we'll do, drag out from delta seconds, and we're going to multiply this by a float and plug speed into the second pin. There we are. Now from light source, drag out from the blue pin, and we're going to we're going to, we're going to add actor local rotation, plug our event tick into here, and now to actually get the rotation, what we're going to do is we're going to drag out from the green pin and we're going to make a rotator. By default, this is going to plug into the roll. We don't want the roll, we want the pitch. So hold down control and left click and drag, and you can move this pin without having to re-drag everything around. You can just plug that straight into the pitch. And that will be all lovely and sexy. So what we're going to do now, because we've got everything set up here to move our light around, is if we close this down and press play, you can see that we're getting our light update, but it's not updating our sky or our sun. But you can see that we've got shadow, and if we give it some time, you can see it's going to go light again. Now the reason it's not updating the sky is because the sky is linked directly to the sun's position. So even though that sun isn't our light, it's just a representation of the light. Um, it's not moving, so our skybox is never going to update. So what we need to do is open up our level blueprint once more. In our world outliner, we want to find our sky sphere blueprint, select it, right click in the level blueprint, create a reference, drag out from this, and luckily the SkySphere blueprint already has something inside called Updates on Direction. Now we just plug this in, we just plug this in, he says a second time, we press compile, we press play, and now everything works as we want. See, 
not as complex as you'd think, right? Now you can make a more complex version that's got, um, you know, some more control over uh, through the matinee system. Uh, but if it's just something really quick and something really simple that you don't need to mess about with too much, this is fantastic. So obviously if we were to slow down, uh, if we were to lower the value of speed, it would go slower. So let's try five. It's going to be considerably slower, but it's still going to work. You see the sun's moving. Yay. Wee, and he's gone. And you know, alternately, if we decided we really wanted to go the other way, we could we could bump it up a little bit. Now, I don't want to go too high because I don't want to cause any sort of problems for people that may have light sensitivity. But there we are. You see, we and we can make it go as fast as we want to go. So there we have it. Really, really easy um, day night cycle. Hope some of you guys can use that and you find it useful. Um, as I say, please come and follow me over on Twitch. I would love the support over there. I'm going to be doing live streams of dev projects that I'm working on, as well as live tutorial sessions. So if you guys want to know anything, or want to learn anything, uh, during a live tutorial session, I'll be running through things you guys want to know, and I'll just open a blank project and we'll work through some stuff together. Um, and then at some other points when I'm just feeling a little bit bored, I'm just going to play some games. Um, anyway, there we go. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.